I've been racing Hyperland for over four years, and let me tell you something. It's awfully easy to get sidetracked and lost when you're making a Hyperland setup and when you're making races. Like, for example, if I had tried to make a setup like this, okay, back in the day, probably around three to four years ago, when I just got started, one, I wouldn't be able to, and two, I'm pretty sure I'd get sidetracked and then not be able to use a consistent philosophy in order to make a setup like this, which is why it's extremely important that you understand what vision, mission, and principles actually are so that you can use them to make a setup that's consistent and coherent that follows one cons consistent design language. So let's actually open up a document here and let me tell you what vision, mission, and principles are all about and how you can use them to apply it to Rising Hyperland, okay? Now, let's start with vision, mission, and principles. So I'll define each of these terms one by one so that you can understand what they mean, okay? Now, a vision, a vision is basically a snapshot of the future, or not necessarily a snapshot, but then just the future, what you want the future to look like, okay? So let's take this in terms of creating a new Hyperland race. So here I actually have a list of different themes that I can pick from. Let's say I wanted to create a new theme, something like a traditional theme like Dracula, okay? Now for that Dracula race, what do I want it to look like? That would be the vision over here. So something minimal, okay? The vision would be create or Dracula rice. That is minimal, clean, come on, clean and aesthetic. The words can definitely be more precise. You can describe exactly the kind of setup that you want, okay? But just to give you an example, I will show you this particular example over here, which is Dracula rice that is minimal, clean, and aesthetic. So vision is basically what you want your setup or rice to look like. That is the first thing. And the next thing we have is mission. Now mission is what exactly you're going to do in order to bring about this vision. So the mission would be something like use tools. Now, yeah, use tools like Waybar, Rafi. You can basically write your tool stack over here. Okay, now for the bar, I'm using Waybar over here. Then for my app launcher, I'm using Rafi. Okay, all of this, the wallpaper switcher and the theme selector, all of this is going to be Rafi. And by the way, if you want to learn how to make a custom theme switcher like this one, along with a wallpaper switcher, like this one over here, you can just go ahead and click the first link in the description. I teach you exactly how to do this step by step using a proven system that I've perfected by making lots of setups for clients who have paid me $1,000 to do so. Okay, I've created lots of setups for them. They've all left five star reviews. And not just that, but then I've also taught over 70 people how to rise Hyperland with the program. That's the first link in the description. So if you want to learn how to make something like this, you can just go ahead and click that link. And I will be ecstatic to show you how all this stuff works. As you can see, this is the kind of setup and theme that you can learn to make. We also have an Overwatch panel here, a logout menu that looks absolutely beautiful. We also have a lock screen and so many more features that you can see, okay? Like this way bar. And then there's also overview functionality. There's also title bars, which you can enable with just one click. So if I choose to show you something like Tokyo Night, as you can see here, the title bars also adapt colors along with the rest of the system. So if you want to learn how to make something like this without having to follow YouTube tutorials that only teach you parts of how to do stuff, okay? If you just want one single tutorial, one vision, one philosophy that teaches you how to do this stuff, you can just go ahead with the first link and I would be happy to help you out. Now, let's get back to where we were. Okay, now the mission is going to be using tools like Weber, Rafi, W logout, you can just write your tool stack here again, right? W logout, and what else were we using? And sway and see to make vision come true. That would be your mission. Now, principles. What are your principles in this case? Well, your principles are the rules that you stick to as you're making a setup. Now, I personally am a huge fan of minimalism. There is a reason why, okay? I'll tell you the reason. Right now, after I put in the principles over here that I would use personally to make this kind of setup. Now, if you also like minimalism and you don't like too much clutter on your desktop and you just want to be able to just launch whichever apps you need and then just get to work, then chances are you will also like minimalism, which is the aesthetic that I am going for with this setup. Okay. With this way bar here, this is a minimal config where 
there isn't actually too much data that you're seeing you're not being overwhelmed by too much data you only see what you have to because of which your life is a lot lot simpler and you don't have to actually just be overwhelmed by lots of data right so the first principle that i'm going to use for this specific rice is going to be do more with less do more with less minimalism okay do more with less that's the first one two constraints breed resourcefulness so you want to keep things minimal keep things minimal and you want to be lean and frugal now do more with less the basic principle and the basic tenet of minimalism is basically doing more with less now how does this actually work isn't it a direct relationship between the amount of work that you do and the output and the results that you get isn't it supposed to be that way? Isn't it directly proportional where if you increase the amount of work that you do, you increase the productivity and the gains that you get? Well, that is true only to a certain extent, right? After of which you get diminishing returns, which basically means after a certain point, additional increases in input will lead to a stagnant increase in output or maybe even a decrease, okay? Which is why you want to do as much as you can with less. And most of the time, if you optimize it correctly, you can actually do more with less. Now. I could be using way more programs in order to actually create a setup like this in order to create this dracula rice okay i could probably split up the functions of here, of my app launcher for example i could for this specific app launcher where i'm using programs i could use something like walker here and then for this wallpaper switcher along with the theme switcher here i could use rafi and then for the logout menu i could use something completely different okay for the night mode i could use something completely different i could use apps that are outside of the ecosystem and whatnot but that would not be doing more with less. You're using more programs in order to do more functions where instead what you could do is just use the same program for as many functions as possible, which is what I'm doing with Rafi. So here we have a program launcher, which is Rafi. And we also have this theme selector, which is also Rafi. And this wallpaper selector, which you guessed it, is also Rafi. So that is the first principle that I would follow for a rice like this. So doing more with less. A second one would be constraints breed resourcefulness. So you want to keep things minimal. What does this actually mean? Constraints breed resourcefulness. Well, if we place constraints on our system, let's say I need only this number of packages on my system, or I want memory usage to be only X amount of gigabytes or X amount of megabytes, if you're feeling very optimistic about your skills in terms of getting memory usage down, which of course, by the way, I teach you how to do in the first link in the description. So if you want, you can just check that out. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying here, right? If you place constraints on what your setup can look like or what your setup is capable of, okay? The benchmarks that you want your setup to excel at and hit, okay? If you set those, what happens is automatically your brain starts coming up with ideas that you can implement in order to meet those constraints. So let's say you don't have any constraints at all, whether it be for package count or whether it be for the number of applications that you use here or have installed or the amount of modules in your way bar. If you have no constraints, if you don't have a set of principles that you're going to follow, what happens is you get you just get a lot of bloatware and things really don't end up looking good. You get a system that is very uncoherent, right? That's just not coherent at all. That doesn't look the same. So one part of the system follows one design philosophy, whereas the rest of it follows something completely different. Nothing looks the same and it just looks like a pile of spaghetti, right? Like you just Frankenstein something together in five minutes. That's not fun. And so what you want to do is place constraints on what your system should look like and do the most that you can, okay, with whatever little quotes that you have inside of those constraints. Constraints breed resourcefulness. They get you to only use whatever you have to and then toss out the rest. Okay, and then lean and frugal. Now this refers to memory usage and application usage in general. So what happens when let's say you've installed Windows, okay? As soon as you boot into Windows, if it's stock Windows and not a customized installation of Windows, whether it be Revy OS or Atlas OS or whatever other ameliorated Linux, I mean, Windows distributions you have, right? What's going to happen is in stock Windows, you have lots of processes, okay? Now, those processes are going to make your computer anything but lean and frugal. They're just going to hog all of your computer's resources, which means that even if you have a pretty powerful computer, you're leaving a lot of performance gains on the table. Now, you don't want to be doing the same thing on your Linux setup as well, which is why you want to keep things lean, 
you don't want too many running background processes so whenever you get the chance you should just go ahead and kill the background processes that's one thing okay now here i'm just giving you specific details of what you can do to apply this principle but then these principles are more like general guidelines that you have to follow when it comes to using your setup and just creating a new setup okay they're not like steadfast <coughs> rules that you have to follow they're more like guidelines so principles as i define them over here they're guidelines that you can use to really streamline your setup so that everything looks the same in a good way right in the way that it's all coherent and looking like one design philosophy has penetrated the entire system and that is how you can use a vision mission and principles to rice hyperland if you want to learn how to make a setup like this you can just go ahead click the first link in the description i show you exactly how to do this in the program right if you liked the video hit like if you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed hit subscribe and i will see you next time stay rising Mwah.